you can be a local outreach partner with the Affordable Connectivity Program, and they can connect you with speakers, resource materials, um, and the like, which is really great. So the Affordable Connectivity Program, again, is a uh, FCC program that provides a $30 per month benefit for qualified applicants. So $30 a month for broadband. If anyone lives on tribal land, you can get up to $75 a month. And then the $100 for a laptop. Now, how does a household become eligible? Um, I know with, they kind of revamped the website within the last couple of months because it was a tedious process to apply before. Um, and I think a lot of, I complained about it, and I think a lot of people complained about it. So it, it should be much easier to use now. But basically, a household would be eligible if they are either at 200% of the federal poverty level, and that's going to depend on the size of the household and family, or if they qualify for any of the following programs. Um, that includes SNAP, Medicaid, SSI, with uh, National School Lunch Program. So if students are, are getting free school lunch or reduced school lunch, they would be eligible to apply for that too. If you have college students that have gotten a Pell Grant, that would also make them eligible. Um, if they're a veteran, they're getting a veteran's pension. Um, and kind of the catch also, even if you're like a nonprofit and you're working with people and they think, well, I don't, I don't qualify under any of these, some providers have their own low income program criteria, so they should still double check and see if they would qualify um, because some of them are a lot more flexible. And there are two steps to enroll. So the first one, and this one I was kind of find kind of funny because this assumes that you have internet to go online to enroll. Um, but this is where I think a lot of you acting as leaders or working with nonprofits, schools, counties can, can assist with this. So if you have folks that are interested in applying, um, they can go to the website to enroll at acpbenefit.org, or you can host kind of office hours or sign up. So if you have a community there, if you have something that the school is doing, um, you can have kind of a designated table set up there to help people sign up for it. And I also think this is great too because one of the challenges I notice with people when I try to sign them up initially is like, you're eligible, you got to sign up, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you have to upload this supplemental document. How are you going to upload it? You don't have a scanner. You know, you're going to download a cam scanner on the phone and scan it. And you've, lost, you've lost me by then, so you, you've lost everything. Um, so I, they tried to simplify that, and you can also mail in an application and mail it in with that paperwork. Um, but if you are interested in getting the word out in your community, I think having a resource where people can sign up with people they trust, with resources, with entities they feel safe with, is a great way to get the word out. The other option you can do is if people already have internet, they can call their provider because there may be a way to sign up directly through your provider, and then you don't even have to go through the ACP's website. Um, that can be much easier, depending on the provider that you have. So if people already have internet, I would say try that one first um, before you go to the website directly. And you do have to do both of those eventually. It's just kind of a chicken or the egg one to see which one would be faster and easier for you. And the rules protect affordable connectivity program recipients. So the ACP, the goal of the ACP is that they also want to make sure to protect consumers because we don't want consumers to have, and individuals to have to sign up for these programs and then realize that they've kind of been duped by a provider that's not providing the service that they want. So the idea is that consumers have the, the ability to choose the plan that best fits their needs. So let's say that you have an internet provider and maybe they aren't participating in ACP, you can move to someone that does. We want to make sure that consumers have access to supported broadband services regardless of their credit status. Um, prohibit providers from excluding consumers with past due balances or prior debt from enrolling in the program. And prevent consumers from being forced into more expensive or lower quality plans in order to receive the benefit. So if someone calls in and says, I you know, want to get the minimum plan, I have a $30 benefit, the plan costs $39.99 a month, they, the, the providers themselves cannot try to upsell them on something if that is the, what the program is that they can afford. And there is a dedicated FCC process for complaints. So if things go awry, if there are an issue with any, with any of the providers, consumers can go ahead and report those complaints directly. So the FCC is interested in obtaining more outreach partners because this program is great, but it's underutilized. Um, and it's been under, it was underutilized last year, um, it's underutilized this year, so I think 
the goal is to really make sure the community members know about this and you guys can find the people because you have access to, to folks that need it. Um, so you can, and I'll email these slides out to everybody as well, but if you want to request a speaker from the FCC to speak at your, at your gathering or at a presentation, you can send them an email. That's what we did for Quitman County. Um, they got back to us within several business days and we're able to get that all set up. You can also become a partner. And becoming a partner is kind of cool because you get all this great swag. So you get logos to advertise, a newsletter to insert, um, they can help you with drafting a press release. You get a copy of this nice fact sheet that you can distribute to everyone, as well as the flyers, poster infographic. And they also have videos to kind of walk people through the process of signing up, which I think is really So all this to say, this is a really great program, and I think we all know that even if internet is physically accessible to people, if it's financially inaccessible, it kind of defeats the purpose. So, Please spread the word about this program. Um, again, I'm a huge fan of it, so if I can help you in any way, feel free to give me a call. And you should also have my cell phone because it was on the invite. So feel free to use it.